dear students the topic for today's classes is recovery in operating system so the files and directories both of them are maintained uh, in main memory as well as on disk so care must be taken to ensure that if a system failure occurs so it does not result in the loss of data or any kind of data inconsistency right because the data is being stored either in the main memory or they are storing it in the secondary storage for permanent storage if the crash happens a system crashes and uh, you lost the data then there will be certain methods so that you can recover the data right a system can crash there can be bugs in the file system implementation part there can be something wrong in the disk controllers or even your user applications the programs you can write uh, they can corrupt a file system so if this thing gets crashed then the data may loss so we actually want if certain of the things happen you should be able to recover the data somehow because we don't want to lose our data so there are various methods which are able to deal with the corruption depending on the file system data structures and the algorithms used okay so it depends what type of file system uh, you are implemented and the algorithms you are using to access the files and directory structure and all so the first method of recovery technique is about consistency checking so it's a software technique the consistency checker is a software program okay so it's a system program which compares the data which is stored in the directory structure with the data blocks which are stored on the disk and tries to fix them if it finds any inconsistencies okay so consistency checking is that it is a software part it is a program which is comparing the two things and what are those two things it is comparing the data which is in the directory structure that is on the system with the data blocks which are on the disk so if it finds any uh, controversy or any difference between the two things then it will try to fix that inconsistency and this consistency checking it takes a long time and inconsistencies may or may not be repairable and it does requires human intervention because somebody will be running that system program after a certain period of time so this is the consistency checking which is being done by consistency checker so it continuously checks for any difference lying between the data stored onto the directory structure and the data stored onto the disk block then the second technique is about the log structured file system so the solution to the above problem is that we have log based recovery technique so log based recovery technique is whatever metadata changes are happening into the file okay whatever updations occur onto the file the changes are written sequentially into a log log is a type of a file okay so whatever changes occur into the data of the file or any other metadata changes then it is written sequentially into the log each set of operations for performing a specific task is a transaction so whatever operation you perform that will be referred to as transaction in log based recovery file system so a transaction will be considered as committed that means it's complete once it is written into the log and the user process may continue executing other operations other transactions the transaction in the logs are asynchronously written to the file system okay so the next thing we have in log structured file system is as the operations are completed then a pointer is updated to indicate which actions have completed and which are still incomplete so as all the transactions will get to complete then the pointer will inform the programmer will inform the operating system through operating system that which are all those actions have been completed which are the transactions which are complete and the transactions which are still incomplete when all the operations are complete then the transactions are removed from the log file so if the file system crashes then the remaining transactions in the log must still be performed it should not happen that if the system is crashed the remaining remaining transactions cancels or it does not progress no because the metadata changes are being updated into the log file sequentially so whatever transactions are completed the pointer is updating them that the actions have completed and which are incomplete so if the file system is crashing on the midway then the remaining transactions which are yet to complete they must still be performed last technique you have for recovery is backup and restore so in order to recover the lost data in the event of disk crash it is important that you conduct backups so we all do backups at home uh, we backup our system data we can backup our mobile data uh, rather on cloud or you use other hard disk Uh, external storage devices you have you take pds so you can take the data of your important files backed up 
in case you lost it on your mobile or any other device on the system then you will be able to recover the data from those devices so files should be copied to some storage devices such as floppy disk magnetic disk optical disk hard disk so you can copy those files from your system or your mobile or any other device to these secondary storages and the backup can be taken either full backup or incremental backup or it is a combination of both so if it is a full backup then you are copying every file on the file system and if it is just incremental backup you copy only those files which have changed since some previous time you are taking some time measurement if you have done uh, the backup last week then you will be doing the incremental backup only in the uh, in this week only to those files you are updating the values in the the ones which has some changes so you will be copying only those files which have some changes which are being updated that is incremental backup in incremental backup you do not take full backup that means you do not copy every file in full backup you copy every file on the file system in incremental backup you copy only those files which show some changes from the last time and then there can be a combination also for full backup and incremental backup so that will provide some compromise a trade off between the full recoverability the number and the size of backup tapes needed and the number of tapes that need to be used to do a full restore so it depends if you are using a combination of both that will be a trade off you may or may not get full recoverability the number and the size of backup tapes you need okay so the backup tapes are often reused particularly for daily backups but there are limit to how many times the same tape can be used so you can use the backup tapes reused but it depends how many times you can use those tapes again and again okay and lastly uh, it is desirable that you take full backup if you want the data to be kept forever and not overwritten okay so these are the three techniques we discussed about recovery in file system and use in operating system uh, you can use consistency checking or you can use log structured file system or you can use the backup and restore technique thank you next we will be discussing about the protection mechanisms and security